The mysteries surrounding the Dark Interlopers and the infamous Majora's Mask have been debated many times in the Zelda community. Some theorize that the Dark Interlopers are in fact members of the Sheikah tribe or the Gerudo tribe. Where Majora's Mask came from is also a perplexing issue. In the non-canon manga of Majora's Mask, it states that Majora's Mask was made from the armor of a legendary beast named Majora by a man who resembled the fierce deity. Today I'm going to explain what I think may have happened with the Dark Interlopers, as well as who I theorize to be the creator of Majora's Mask. <laughs> I'll start this one off with some info on the Dark Interlopers. The only official information we have on the Dark Interlopers is from Twilight Princess. The Spirit of Light, Lanariu, explains the events during the Hyrulean Civil War when the Dark Interlopers used a tool called the Fused Shadow to try to take the Triforce from the Sacred Realm. Lanero also explains that three of the four light spirits stopped the Interlopers and sealed them away along with the power of the Fused Shadow. Who are these Dark Interlopers and where did they come from? Many people theorize that the Dark Interlopers are in fact members of the Sheikah tribe that did not see eye to eye with a Hyrule royal family. Others also think that they very well could have been members of the Gerudo tribe. I personally agree with the theory that members of the Sheikah tribe were in fact the Dark Interlopers spoken of in Twilight Princess. Now that I've brought you up to speed on who the Dark Interlopers may have been, it's time to get into the main portion of my theory. As Lanero stated in Twilight Princess, the Dark Interlopers used the power of the Fused Shadow. I believe the members of the Sheikah tribe created this tool. Let's take a closer look at the Fused Shadow. Here we can see that the mask in its complete form only looks to have one eye. We all know the notorious eye symbol of the Sheikah tribe. I believe this is a dead giveaway that the Sheikah tribe created this tool. As well as it only having one eye, down toward the lower part of the mask some of the markings resemble what we've seen in the Shadow Temple from Ocarina of Time. Another interesting thing about the Fused Shadow is that it closely resembles Majora's Mask. Heck, when placed together, they almost fit perfectly. This brings brings me to the origin of Majora's Mask. I theorize that the Dark Interlopers created Majora's Mask at the same time as a Fused Shadow, with both masks being sealed in the Twilight Realm. The clues I have to back this up can be found in Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess. I'll start off with a little bit of info regarding the backstory of Majora's Mask. In the game, it's explained that the mask was used by an ancient tribe to perform rituals. Because of the many troubles it caused, the mask was sealed away in shadows to prevent its misuse. This story sounds vaguely familiar to the story told of the few shadow and the interlopers, doesn't it? The two major things that are very similar are 1. The masks were both used as a tool to perform feats of magic, and 2. Both objects were sealed away in areas referred to as places of shadow. In the non-canon manga of Majora's Mask, it is said that the mask was created by a man who resembled a fierce deity. He played a song that caused a beast named Majora to dance for three days and three nights. The dragon died on the fourth day because a song the man played made time move forward. The man then created Majora's Mask, sealing away his power in hopes that it would never be used again. Now I don't find this story to be true all around, but I do find that some of the details are interesting. This story can partially be backed up by the fact that in Majora's Mask, Majora gives Link the Fierce Deity Mask and says let's play good guys and bad guys. This alludes to the Fierce Deity having something to do with Majora being sealed within the mask. I bet you guys are thinking, who is this fierce deity and how the heck does he fit into this whole thing? First let me give you a bit of history regarding the fierce deity. It is said in Majora's Mask that the spirit residing in the fierce deity mask is of a godlike status, known to wield immense power. Knowing this much, it isn't outlandish to theorize that the fierce deity is actually the leader of the interlopers. Why do I think this? Well, for instance, the Fierce Deity was obviously sealed away in a mask and met with the same fate as Majora. The only entities with enough power to take down a god would be the three spirits of light mentioned in Twilight Princess. It's also shown in Twilight Princess that the interloper's leader may have perished at this time, with the scene of the one in the very center screaming. Note, 
This is very similar to how Link looks upon putting on a mask in Majora's Mask. The Fierce Deity also has face paint, white eyes, white hair, and symbols on his armor. These are all very similar attributes of the Sheikah. The face paint somewhat resembles that of Impa's face paint. Though this is a minor detail, we've never actually seen a male Sheikah, so this could very well be a solid clue. Another clue that alludes to this is the scene during the story of the interlopers. The leader seems to have white eyes, comparable to that of the Fierce Deity. As well as having white eyes, the Fierce Deity has white hair, which is a trademark of Impa's character design. Does every Sheikah have white hair? We may never know, but it certainly seems that way. The last very interesting detail is that the Fierce Deity's armor has a symbol of a moon and what looks to be a piece of the Triforce. The Shadow Temple is directly connected to the Sheikah, and in this temple we find what looks to be a symbol of a moon. The Triforce symbol on the Fierce Deity's armor can also be connected to the Sheikah, as they were loyal servants to the royal family of Hyrule, who protected the Triforce. This also explains the events of the manga as the Fierce Deity seemed to know the Song of Time and used it to subdue Majora. Only members of the Hyrule Royal Family and the Sheikah that served them knew the Song of Time, shedding some light on where the Fierce Deity may have originated from. All of these details mixed with the fact that Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess are in the same timeline really make sense to me. Now let's sum this one up. I theorize that the Fierce Deity was the leader of the Dark Interlopers formerly known as the Sheikah tribe. The Fierce Deity sought out Majora's immense power, with his power being so great, the Fierce Deity had to seal it away in two masks, Majora's Mask and the Fused Shadow. He then used the power of the two masks to infiltrate the Sacred Realm to obtain the Triforce. The Golden Goddess heard of the Fierce Deity's plan and sent the Light Spirits to seal the interlopers away. In the process, they also sealed their leader, the Fierce Deity, into a mask, removing him from his people, in hopes that with no leader, the interlopers would never break the seal. That just about wraps up this week's Zelda theory. If you guys have anything to add to my theory, let me know down below. If you think it's completely wrong, let me know down below. I'd love to hear any information from you guys. But before I go, I want to ask you all, who do you think the Dark Interlopers are, and how do you think Majora's Mask was created? I bid you farewell, thanks for watching, peace out.